Now on to our health segment for this Tuesday. Friend of the house, Dr. Olatubi Olawale is back. He's an alumnus of the College of Medicine at the University of Lagos, a physiotherapist with a specialty in sports and orthopedics, as well as rehabilitation. Now he's a member of the Nigeria Society of Physiotherapists. Physiotherapists. I got it. Yep. And of course, he's a member of the American College of Sports Medicine with special interest in injury prevention in sport. It's great to have you back in the building. Thank you very much. <laughs> you saw what happened there. Yeah, right. How many times a day does that happen? When you want to tell people what you do. No, 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 no. It, that, that has never happened to me. Before. Really? Physiotherapist. I'm a physiotherapist. Yeah, I'm okay. A... So when they try to pronounce it, it doesn't... doesn't. Yeah, some people say physiotherapy. Or they just have a funny way to, <laughs> to, to pronounce it, but it's actually when you want to spell, some people spell it wrongly. Mm. Most people actually spell it wrongly, but... So I, I want to touch on the people that approach you the most. Um, families, friends, loved ones of people who have possibly gone through a stroke or a partial stroke, um, wondering how to get their parents or loved ones back on their feet after going through something that serious. It's a very serious thing we're talking about here today. Dr. Latubi, what, where do they begin? The, the one thing about stroke is this stroke actually, when stroke happens to someone, the intention is to actually probably take the person's life. Mm. So when you survive that incident, you're now called a stroke survival. And stroke happens when there is a damage to the brain. Wow. And at least one of you will have had someone that have had stroke before, probably your friend, your mother, your grandma, or your friend's mom, someone related to you have had stroke before. And stroke usually happens when there is a damage to the brain. Hmm. And when there's a damage to the brain, it affects the, the, the limbs, the, the one side of the limbs, either the right side of the limbs or the left side of the limbs. Now, okay. the brain is divided into two hemispheres the left hemisphere and the right hemisphere. Now, when the left hemisphere is affected, then your right side of your body is affected. Okay. Now, when the right hemisphere is affected, then your um, left part of your body is affected. It can be either weakness or total paralysis of the affected side of the body. Wow. So that's everything from facial expressions, um, everything from neck movement, just to shoulder movement from your face your there's the front of the first thing they even notice is actually your face dropping wow when there's when there's when there's the face just deviation of the face to one side wow. then another thing then there's imbalance when you, you see the patient stand up yeah. and the patient cannot even stand on the feet or you actually tell the patient to the person to even raise the arm and the both arms and one arm drops Mm. That's one of the things you've checked. Sometimes it even affects the speech. Wow. Their, speech is, their speech is actually slow, slow speech, or probably there is a... Um, they can't even talk at all. Mm. So, so sometimes, so this is actually very serious. And we have two kinds of stroke, actually. Okay. We have the ischemic stroke and the hemorrhagic stroke. The ischemic stroke is actually kind of common because um, ischemic stroke happens when there is um, a blood clot okay. in the brain or when there is um, no enough blood, so when there's a blockage of the arteries going to the brain, and when there's no enough blood supply to the brain, that is ischemic stroke. And hemorrhagic stroke um, happens when there's an outburst of um, um, blood in the, in the, in the mm -hmm. brain. Example, now you have a pipe, and the, there's a burst in the pipe, and wow. boom, and there's blood around. So wow. there are two kinds of strokes, so the ischemic and the hemorrhagic. So each type of stroke actually have different management. Mm -hmm. But what I'm actually advocating for is that Quick management of stroke will reduce your um, fast management of or quick management of stroke will reduce the effects at the long run. Okay. To lose the, the the rate at which you have your disabilities at the long run because sometimes if it is not tot quickly attended to, you might even come down with total paralysis. Hmm. So that's one of the major things we need to prevent. So now uh, a lot of stroke survivors uh, end up either being in a wheelchair or even at some point being bedridden for a while. When, when uh, family members realize that this is happening, what should they do? Now, when someone survived stroke, the first thing, that is where physiotherapy comes in. In the first, next 24 hours after the person has survived stroke, okay. physiotherapists come into play. What are they doing? The physiotherapy is actually trying to rehabilitate the patient back to the previous state before he had stroke. Okay. 
trying to make sure that the muscles respond quickly, mm. try to make sure that the patient gets balanced, even try to even work on the cognition of the patient. So most patients comes back, comes down with stroke and they don't do anything. They leave the patient down there and they come down with contractual stiffness. Okay. You see a lot of stroke patients going around, walking like this, hands stiff, legs stiff, they can't move around. So the work of the physiotherapist now is to make sure that these things don't happen and make sure that the patient recovers faster. So 24 hours. In that first 24-hour window, as long as the person is lucid and, and is, is aware... So now, in that first 24 hours, yeah. a lot of things is done. Okay. The physician tries to bring down the blood. So now there are many things that can cause stroke. Like, let yeah, me just quickly dive into that. Okay. We have high blood pressure, we have high cholesterol, high, uh, high sugar, a lot of things. Even if you smoke, you're prone wow. to having stroke. Wow. So now, when the, the, the person is down with stroke and been diagnosed that, oh, this is stroke, they do a CT scan to know the kind of stroke then the next thing they do, they try to regulate the blood pressure or whatever is causing that stroke mm -hmm. to happen. Once the patient is stable, yeah. the next thing is physiotherapy, please. It is okay. a, one thing, physiotherapy is one of the leading um, role in management of stroke because okay. it is very, very important from beginning to the end. end. Okay. So it's not about medication now. It's not about oral medication. It's not about um, um, eating and, and anything else. Right at that point, it's about getting those limbs moving again. The medications is actually probably make you make your blood pressure regulate. Okay. You make everything regular. But the major thing is physical activity and exercise. You know, there's, I've said it here before. There is no actually a muscle, a drug yeah. that can make your muscles work. Mm. The only thing that can make your muscles work is actually when you exert that muscle into stress exercise. That okay. is the only thing. So right. when you have stroke, we are trying to make sure that your muscles work, your joints work back, and we send a signal back to your brain that, okay, brain, this is what you're meant to do. Please do this. And yeah. over time, the patient gets better. So statistically speaking, what are the percentage chance that people regain 100% function? Now, one thing about stroke is that you might really not get 100% function okay. after stroke. It depends on the severity. Okay. Most people get 90% function back, 98% function back. Fantastic. But your recovery or your how you get better de depends on when you start rehabilitation or when you even start your treatment. Amazing, amazing. Dr. Alatsubi, I think someone out there has learned today and has this information for a reason. Uh, help those friends, family members, your neighbors in your community who have been through this, help them understand that physiotherapy is important when recovering from a stroke. All right, then uh, please use our hashtag Wake Up Nigeria on TVC and let us know your thoughts. We're taking a quick break. There's still more on Wake Up Nigeria. <laughs> 